Economists say China's model of investment in Africa is gaining public support despite the debt burden it imposes on many countries. According to economic experts and locals, the United States' multi-billion dollar investments in Africa are less visible and make less of an impact on people's daily lives. VOA's Victoria Amunga reports from Nairobi. Catherine Kiura's electronic business is one of thousands in Kenya that distributes products from both China and Western countries. Kiura says her Chinese products are moving the fastest. There is first quality, second quality to, uh, to fifth quality. So it depends with what the customer is asking for. Because we'll, we will sell something that a customer wants. If it's a bulb for 30 shillings, I have. If it's a bulb for 50 shillings, I have. Electronics is a target area of investment by Chinese companies in Africa. Locals say such investments are impacting their daily lives directly. A lot of products we see in the shops are from China. Government projects we hear are also being run by Chinese. So even though America is investing, we haven't seen them on the ground. We hear that America has done this and that, but we haven't seen them at the grassroots. Economists say the model of investment by foreign countries is key in the competition for influence across Africa. China has followed its money in. Whenever it's invested, unlike other, other lenders, it's actually followed its, uh, its projects with the engineers, sometimes even to an extreme of having their own workers. But then what that's then um, resulted in is you've had a very visible impact. During his three-nation tour of Africa last week, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said his country is investing in the continent without imposing unsustainable levels of debt. Wahoro told VOA that distinction is an important one. If you look in the overall picture of the, the debt stock, and by this I mean other types of, of debt beyond commercial, because China has been mainly, mainly commercial debt, uh, the West is still ahead in terms of in the actual dollars on the ground, and also because uh, if you include, include the Bretton Woods institutions, the World Bank and IMF, then the totality of that bilateral and uh, multilateral uh, institutions, you could say the West is still, this is still the West's uh, space. In a bid to strengthen relations with Africa, the White House has announced it will host an African Leaders Summit in 2022.